And I think that those supportive messages to the Iranian people yeah. matter. It's one of the reasons why State Department spokesperson, I tried almost on a weekly basis to do media that would get into the Iran, into Iran <clears throat> so the Iranian people could hear from me. We had um, a Persian Instagram uh, at the State Department that was heavily followed. Uh, I think it's been disabled now. Uh, we had a Telegram channel during the 2019 protest where we asked people to send in to us uh, pictures and videos of people that were killed, uh, people that were arrested during these protests because we wanted to name and shame and highlight. Uh, that account uh, has either been disbanded or doesn't post anymore. Radio Farda, uh, which was a, a tool that we used all the time at the State Department to try and communicate to the Iranian people, I don't think has posted in 350 days or, or, or it's, it's, it's been uh, downgraded significantly. And I bring that up because I do think that if you're going to say the administration leads with human rights and if you're going to say that we care about the Iranian people, you're absolutely right that we have to do the tangible things to support them. But the, in, in my opinion, I've seen a communication effort that has essentially been silenced to the Iranian people for uh, in favor of discussions for this flawed deal. And